What is going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Now, something really special for me today. We are going to Nottingham today to go and video the UK's largest home aquarium. So, it's going to be an absolute epic video. I've um, seen loads of photos of this tank in the last um, past year or so, or a couple of years or so. So, um, and I've seen it all over some different social media sites. Um, it's been in a couple of papers and magazines and stuff like that. So, really exciting. So, yeah, I've got about two and a half hour drive. So, um, let's hit the road and see what this tank's all about. Okay, we just got to Jack's house. He just showed me around his uh, tanks. He's got tanks absolutely everywhere. It's absolutely mental. But um, let's start with the tanks down in the cellar. Should we go have a look, mate? Yeah, let's yeah. go. So this is the first tank he's got down here. And what is it? It's just near enough 10 foot, this one, isn't it? Yeah, 10 foot by three foot high by two and a half foot. It's a massive tank, isn't it? It's got the crayfish and what have you in it. Oh, he's a beast, isn't he? So are these all native to the, to the river, yeah? They're all native except uh, the crayfish. Uh, right. The crayfish are the um, introduced, the invasive one. Okay. Uh, so if you want, that's a, yeah, that ought to be mentioned. If you want to catch your own crayfish, you've got to check your postcode area and everything because mm. you might not be allowed to have them. Right, I see yeah, what you're yeah, saying, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm alright because the whole place has been taken over by them anyway now. Yeah, so, yeah, that's yeah. right, yeah. And what else you got going on here? What are these guys then? Oh, uh, minnows. Uh, there's a few stickleworks. And there's the little stone loach down there. Some of the um, minnows are colouring up for breeding and getting the little uh, tube kills or whatever they're called on the heads. Yeah, they're lovely, lovely little things, aren't they? Yeah. Got some stunning colours on them, aren't they? To say they're just out of the local stream, they are nice, yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's basically, well, it's basically costs you nothing, really, isn't it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's Obviously been really good fun. Yeah. Oh, it's good fun as well, going yeah. out and them, yeah. Collecting them, that's right, yeah. Yeah, I bet it's quite, yeah. It's amazing to get them. Yeah, it's a lovely tank, this. This isn't nothing yet, either. He's got a tank out there which is going to blow your mind, honestly. Just gone and seen it. I love the scape in here as well, what you've done, Jack. It's just nice and natural, isn't it? Yeah, I've tried to go for as natural as I can. Yeah. And what wood's it? Where's this wood from then? Is it just out the, out the rivers and stuff, is it? Funnily enough, it's a, a sycamore tree and they're actually upside down right. branches. Okay. I know it's, you associate that more with like a mangrove look, but. It looks, looks right though, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it looks yeah. really good, doesn't it? Yeah, so basically they've uh, trimmed up uh, a sycamore tree for someone and uh, then just, yeah, they just upside down so there would have been actually the branches going that way up, hmm. but it works that way. No, yeah, quality. Yeah. And what's the filtration on this tank then? Ah, this one at the end. It's just uh, alpha grog, the piece sponge on the top and a pump in that oh, section. Oh right, so the filter's actually in the back there, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah, it's just that section is about five inch yeah, section yeah. there. And it's just filled with alpha grog in it. Lump of sponge. Yeah, nice. So loads of bacteria growing in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, awesome, mate. Right, let's get on to. Um, should we leave the big tank till last and go and see the the other tank in here? Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. So this is the big one, but we'll come back to this in a minute. <laughs> see if any of the fish have woken up yet. Yeah. Wow, man, this is incredible, isn't it? I think I like the scape in there more than I like the fish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I bet you sit here for hours, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, it's incredible, man. So what size tank is this? Well, pond, shall I say. Yeah, right. <laughs> this is 10 foot left to right, five foot front to back, and four foot to high. So it's in 25 mil glass, this one. Yeah, yeah. That sheet of glass was the heaviest thing I think ever recorded. Oh, <laughs> I bet it was, I bet it was. How many of you took, get, that, get that down here then, this bit of glass? Oh, it took uh, eight of us, and we all carried it down just around the side of the house. Yeah. So, yeah. And we had all little chocks of water all the way so we could stop for us, pick it up again yeah. and carry on. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, yeah, it's scary, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I got it cheap because it's got these little scratches on it and that there, so I got it for a really, really low price. Yeah, but it's nothing, is it? No. Don't, don't look at things like that, do you? You look at the fish and stuff, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, so the lights only just come on and, uh, well, as, as you know, and uh, the fish will wake up hmm. gradually. What have you got in here then? I see uh, obviously you've got a fair few cichlids. What types have you got? Yeah, I've got uh, Ophthalmoids. I don't know, we're not very good with scientific names, but that's Ophthalmoid tilapia boots, when you're uh, filming now. I've got uh, Lupi, and there's 
There's some Julie, Julie Chromis in there. There's uh, some Citra Chromis in there, but everything's um, asleep. Yeah. Yeah, they're not very, not very morning fish. These, I've noticed. No, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Oh, it's just a beautiful tank. So have you got no, there's some, like, nice, some nice um, calvus in there as well, Alto Lampodimus calvus. They're sort of like the favourites. They'll they'll be up eventually. Mm. Yeah, the scape's like incredible, ain't it? So you, where do you get all these rocks on there? Do you get them yourself? Yeah, went to uh, Wales in the big van. Yeah, you collected them all. Yeah, just, yeah, just went to one of the. Yeah, you know, like they've got all the slate mines and stuff where they've got lots of like the rubbly bits. Yeah, all lying around and up the outside. Oh, right. definitely. Well, I don't blame you. If you went and bought these from. Oh, it would be shop. thousands of pounds worth. Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. I bet it was quite fun scaping this tank though, wasn't it? Yeah, quite bad breaking, but it, yeah. I mean, I mean, also, you know how water sort of foreshortens things a little bit? Yeah, yeah. yeah so you think that one so is is a third deeper that way, you know? Yeah. So I just had to lump it on there, clamber over the top, yeah. pick it off, but you know, yeah. Well, didn't no one come and give me a hand, no? <laughs> well, it was just, no, I was just by myself, it just didn't during the week and I got all the rocks. I've, I've had the van and I had to put all the rocks over the wall at the front. Yeah. Then they were there for a bit. And then I was going to wash them and I thought, no, they've just been out in the open in the countryside in heavy rain all the time from yeah. Wales. Yeah, be fine. <laughs> I thought they'll be all right. Yeah. Uh, so I just, yeah, so by the time I've done this, I was absolutely cream cracker. I bet you was, mate, yeah. Yeah, I bet it was just, yeah it's a heavy weekend. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> what um what filtration are you running on this one then? Uh, there's a pump. Oh, you can't see it, but there's a, there's a little cage so just down there. You might be able to see it. Yeah. That's the intake to the pump, which sits on the far wall. Okay. On the other side, uh, where the other tank is, and that pumps up to you know that wooden platform on the top of the cellar steps. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it goes up to there, and that's like a fiberglass section. Right. And the fiberglass thing comes through to this tank, so it's all like one unit just hmm. to avoid the chance of leaks or anything. Yeah, no, it's a good idea, isn't it? Yeah, so it goes through all the alpha so it starts at like that height where the blue bricks are, but the other side of that wall. Yeah. Trickles down right to the very bottom. And there's a glass channel just to make the water go whoop, back up and out through this weir. Hmm. So there's a weir just at the back. Then again it's, it's the usual alpha guard with some floss on top. That's it. That's, 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 all, that's all I basically run in my tanks mate. Yeah. Great stuff isn't it? Yeah it is yeah. <coughs> and what's this light there? It's quite a massive light, isn't it? It was actually one of because the tank used to be marine. Right. Yeah. <coughs> but it was just costing so much in salt. I, I mean, I had it as marine for about 10 years or yeah. probably longer. And uh, every time we did a water change, it was costing me like 100 quid in salt. You know, yeah, like, this is ridiculous. Yeah. We did have some glorious fishing Yeah, yeah. So that is an old marine light. <coughs> it's got the metal halide switched off, which Nobody uses anymore now anyway. Yeah. And it's just got those, is it T5, those tubes? Yeah, yeah, I've heard of them, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, one day I'll just, I'll probably keep this hood, because it's handy, mm. take all the gubbins out and replace it with just some LEDs. LEDs, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's doing a job for now, and it? it's like, these fish don't like need loads of light, do they, anyway? So. No, I wanted to give it the really deep lake, because Tang and Yuk is obviously so massive and deep. Yeah. I really wanted to give it that look, you know. That's right, yeah. And it's just like quite moody and atmospheric and... Mm. Oh no, it's, a, it's just a nice place to be in this room, isn't it? Yeah. You know? And I see you've got some wave pumps running at the back, just moving the water around a bit, haven't you? So what, yeah. what are they? Just, um, and what make are they then? Oh, what are they? I, they were just the super cheaper ones uh, from China. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't even tell you the make. I don't think they've got a make. No. You know, it's like that. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I think I've got a couple of them myself, yeah. Like, yeah. Bit the work, and uh, I basically do them at the surface just so that I get the dappling mm. of the light so it ripples the surface. Yeah, I see that, yeah, it's, it's, it's mesmerising, isn't it? Yeah, I think it'll work even better when I've got some like LED spotlights, like, they'll, they'll really twinkle. Them. Yeah, I've, I've <coughs> been to a few tanks, and the, a lot of people say the best lights for that is the kettles. Oh, yeah, yeah. We run in the kettles, and then they get a lot of shimmering in the water from the kettles, so right, right. might look into that, mate, that might be the best. <coughs> They're quite expensive though, aren't they? Yeah, especially with something like this. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think you need quite a few, mate. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's not your standard four foot tank, is it? No. <laughs> yeah, it's more than four foot tall. <laughs> yeah, it's right, yeah. That's oh, incredible, mate. It's incredible. There's so much to look at here. Like, 
you want to spend longer looking at the tanks, like videoing them, do you know what I mean? But there's so right. many other tanks we've got oh, right, to yeah, see yeah, in there, yeah. so. Yeah, I think the one that the people like the most actually is the, the link tank, yeah, the tunnel one. Yeah, yeah. He's a beautiful fish, man. Yeah, in another hour or so, they'll all be out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll pop the down here when they're all out then. Yeah. Right, should we go and have a look at your, um, your massive tank here? <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you call it, a pond or a tank? Well, I've got a tank just because it's indoors, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, it's incredible, look at it. Absolutely amazing, man. So what is the volume of the water on this actual whole system then, do you know? Yeah, it's 4,800 gallons, which is 22,000 litres. Wow. Yeah. Wow, it's serious, isn't it? Mm -hmm. They've got um, some big fish in there as well. Them carp are huge, aren't they? Carp, we've got a few trout. Uh, there's perch, rud and tench. Yeah, so it's, it's just all native species again, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Apart from I cheated a bit on the carp because they're uh, they're not native, but where are these guys from? In uh, they're from like mainland Europe and stuff. Um, but they they have been here over a thousand years. They're, they're introduced by the monks, right, for food. Um, so they're almost classed as native. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> been yeah. Here for so long. Yeah, that's uh, right. Yeah, thousand years. That's a long time, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, these brown trout have got some stunning colours on, haven't they? How many fish you got in here all together then? Have you had a? I think it's about 50. 50 fish all together, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. a lot, isn't it? And they are they're big fish, man. Some of these. Some of the tents are getting quite big now, so I came over in that corner there. Yeah. Not, obviously not a little one, but. And the wood, where do you get all the wood from? Is it the same again? Oh yeah, they were just, it was just from the local woods, actually. Yeah. Uh, they were just some dead trees. Uh, annoyingly, because like, had them all in position, had them wedged against the underneath, had them secured at the bottom. Hmm. And when the, say the carp were new in here, they were quite nervy. And if anything happened, they'd zoom off in a certain direction. Yeah. And we just crash into it. That's why all the woods now are lying down here. And, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And one day I'm going to get back in and stand it all up properly. Now they're more settled, hmm. uh, it should be okay, but they've really knocked. I mean, that's that great big one there was. I mean, I, you know, when I, when I put, first put it all in, I couldn't even shift it. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. And I have got, because I put it on the TFU, yeah, TFUK, uh, all the stages and the photographs have been turning it from tropical to this, and it's, the tank's completely empty, so I'll share those with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'd love yeah. to see them, mate, yeah. Yeah, and it's, uh, yeah, so what, what, was, what did you have in here when it was all tropical then? I know you told me earlier, but. There was uh, stingrays. There was two four foot alligator guards, in fact one of them was four foot two. Wow. Uh, there was two big pangasius, they got massive. There was a uh, red tailed catfish, as everybody does. Mm -hmm. uh, two big paku, um, no, three big paku. There was uh, arowana, uh, come on, brain. Oh, two enormous. Chainsaw Dorodids, you know, or Blipsaw Dorodids, whatever you want to call yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they were colossal, yeah. Yes, yes, and just massive fish in there, yeah. yeah did did yeah. you ever keep an Arapaima? No, I didn't. No, no, no. no. Yeah, because I thought to myself, an Arapaima would be even too big for this time. Once it reached like eight or nine foot, yeah. what am I going to do, you know? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I've, yeah. I've seen people with them in like eight foot tanks. I'm like, do you realise what you've got? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get yeah. absolutely massive, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't the biggest one ever, 16 foot or something. Something, stupid, yeah, yeah. Ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's epic, mate. And um, your water changes on your tanks. You do what do you do on all these tanks then? Your water yeah, just, just water changes. Uh, obviously, I can't store water. I, I don't even use the chlorinator to be honest. But what I do is, is uh, I've got a clothes horse, and then I put the hose pipe just from the cold tap hmm. onto um, a rose. You know that you get off a. Uh, watering can yeah okay yeah and it just sprinkles through there so i know that it loses sort of like three quarters of the chlorine yeah because so I mean, then it's because obviously the as soon as the air hits it yeah yeah, the, yeah so the water level's right down as well onto that shelf yeah so it's got the height of that plus the clothes horse hmm. so it's falling about eight foot yeah and then it splatters and of course all the when it's hitting the surface hmm. gets rid of the load as well yeah 
And also it takes so long that by the time that the last water's going in. Yeah, the other chlorine's gone, yeah. It's all gone, yeah. Yeah, so it, it evaporates it, fast, doesn't it? Yeah, it never reaches a concentration. No. Which is detrimental, you know it. No, that's right. A, a lot of people were worried about the chlorine and stuff, you know, and I've always said to them, look, it, it does go fast. Yeah, it does. You know? fast, it, yeah, if yeah. you're really worried about it, like you can leave buckets with lids open and stuff like that, can't yeah. you? Yeah. Know? I mean, say for the little tanks, yeah, I mean, those little, like, little vintage tanks, mm. I have a, a bucket of water mm. and I put an air stone in it. I don't yeah. use a chlorinator, I just stick an air stone in it, leave yeah. it 24 hours. Yeah, yeah. it's all gone, yeah. Because I couldn't do a water change on a tank that small no. quickly because the chlorine would affect it, especially little, little fish. I imagine they're more susceptible to it than big fish. Yeah. Yeah, yeah then um, you've got to use no primer or nothing then, have you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's no, amazing. And what, what filtration is on this then? I said earlier, but it's a huge like drum filter, is that yeah, right? Yeah, a bead filter. Bead, you know, fit, bead yeah. filter, is like a big sealed thing. Mm. Uh, Annoyingly, it's not keeping the water clear. It's keeping the conditions good, as in it's, uh, there's no nitrites, ammonia. Obviously, there's just the usual amount of nitrate. Yeah. Uh, there's the water quality is bog on. Yeah. It's um, just the clarity. It's a clarity. Yeah. 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 And everything I've read, I'm, I'm spoken to so many experts now, and nobody seems to have an answer. Nobody. Everyone's. It's not oh, I can feel them too much. It's no. Okay, I know that I've had to up the feeding a bit since the trout went in because I scoff absolutely everything. But uh, yeah, but being the being the size of the tank as it is, like that shouldn't make a difference at all, should it? Really, you know? No, no. Plus, the filter's rated for four times this volume of water. Yeah. And it's even got a list on it, and it says I can put like two kilos of food in a day. Mm. All this sort of stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah. And um, it's quarter that size, a quarter of that amount of food's going in, if not not even that much, you know. And, and yet it's still okay. I'm just trying to scream. What do you people know? have said, "Well, you want some floss, you want this." I said, "Well, according to the filter manufacturers and according to other people with koi ponds, I don't need that. If I've got this bead filter, that's right. Yeah, it should do yeah. everything. Yeah. yeah, it should. And the beads are tiny. You know, I mean, mm. they're, they're not much bigger than grains of sand. And so we've got this huge thing full of them. Mm. I think, how's it getting through? You know? Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah." But do you know what the tank looks lovely, mate. Like, no, it kind of you know, looks natural, doesn't it? You know? Yeah. Funnily enough, when I have done a great big water change and I haven't fed them for say a week and it's crystal clear, very very briefly that is, uh, people have said, "Oh, I preferred it murky." Yeah. 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 It gives a bit more you, you mystery to you it. You can't please everyone, mate. Uh, you know yeah. that's right. Yeah. That's up, and I know what people mean. Yeah. Sometimes I think, yeah, it does look better a bit murky because yeah. it's what you'd expect. Well, yeah. If you if you stuck your head in the lake or a a river around here. I know some of the rivers are crystal clear, but the lakes are not. No, no. no. You know, and the fish probably need a bit of like hiding. You know. Yeah, yeah. It's absolutely amazing, mate. I've got to do something like this one day in one of my, in a oh, house. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've, I definitely will do one day. <laughs> yeah, it's just the levels of thinking that go into it because like the water down pressure down here is like two tons a square meter of yeah. stuff and that yeah. sort of thing. So even this good here, I put that there, mm. and then filled in all the gaps between these joists, yeah. so that when this rests against that, it then wants to fall forwards, it wants to push, but then it can't push these because these are all filled in between right to the back of the house. Yeah, it's, yeah. There's just loads to think about. Yeah, oh yeah, well, yeah. water's so bloody heavy, isn't it? You yeah. Know? yeah. Everything about this hob is heavy. Mm. Yeah, the, the rocks and stuff are heavy, yeah. the glass is heavy, the water's heavy. <laughs> it's the best hobby though, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. How thick is this glass on here then? Is that's, it, that's 25 mil. As 25 well. mil, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If I'd wanted it as one complete piece, I'd have to have had it as about 45 mil or 50 mil, mm. and uh, I'd have to have imported it from Italy. Oh, so. and it would cost you an absolute fortune, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So these are goalposts, aren't they? Well, yeah, they're, they're just um, steel goalposts, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, steel, yeah, yeah. That's that's what we basically use when we're taking out the. We I take out a lot of big windows and doors and put massive sets of doors in. Oh yeah. And we put these in either side and with a RSJ. Alright. Yeah. Or we'll use these and weld them to it. So it's a very similar sort of thing, but obviously with glass, you know, so Yeah. So these are like each one the, the wall the wall thickness of these is all ten mil as well. Mm. So basically what you've got here is a situation where you know if you've got like a twelve inch ruler, yeah. You just about to go mm, and snap it. Yeah. But if you cut that into four pieces, right. you'd struggle to snap each piece. Yeah, yeah. And that's the situation here. So yeah. you've got I see what you're saying now, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because if I'd, I, mean, I could have probably got away with only having, say, two of these, so there's three windows, but I want to, yeah, better safe than sorry. Yeah, it's right. not worth it, no, no, no yeah. especially with that amount of water in your house, yeah. Yeah. 
Definitely, yeah. And what would what would you do with it all if it ever went? You know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It'd ruin it all, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean the weight of water and stuff would blast those doors out. It would. Oh, it would. Yeah, it would just be awful. It'd demolish your house. Yeah. yeah. Jack, it's absolutely amazing, mate. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> It was great catching all these fish as well for the, because uh, the only ones I bought were the trout, which I got from a trout farm. Yeah. And even then it was only 20 quid for eight of them, you know, so mm. great. Mm. Uh, and the carp, the three carp, all the rest were just caught. Yeah. Yeah, so your stocking is quite cheap really, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. In yeah, comparison, these two yeah. Times, yeah, that one and that one. Yeah, yeah. they're cheap, yeah. You know, especially with like the um, the electricity going up, you know, with people heating their tanks as that, I can see a lot more people keeping native species in tanks yeah, now, you know. Yeah. And like, you, you've shown it off so well here, like, I think a lot of people will watch this and go, what an absolute good idea, you know. And also, the uh, you can only push a maximum of 22,000 litres an hour through that bead filter. Yeah. So that meant... I've got a pump which actually does 20,000 litres per hour because it's say the maximum is 22,000 you can have. Yeah. So I've got 20,000 and that's only 160 watts. It's this one, it's this Jebio one from, uh, again, Chinese again, but yeah. it's bloody brilliant. And it, uh, and the, all the lighting mm. is, uh, I know it's, say it's a bit murky so it's, it's not very well lit, but when it's clear, <laughs> it's a lot better. But these are all four watts. Uh, just household GU tens, but the daylight, yeah. the daylight ones. It works really well, doesn't it? Yeah, but the four watts. So basically, you've got twenty of them at four watts. So it's one hundred and sixty watts of pump, one hundred and sixty watts of light, and that's your lot. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. So, this, so this huge tank is only using three hundred twenty watts. Yeah, it's nothing. Yeah. For yeah. the for the volume of this, you know. Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? Really. When it was um, tropical, I had these. German pumps, these Awazi ones, which they all call kind about German engineering, but they used like 800 watts each. Yeah. And they only they only churned a bit more water out than that Chinese one. Wow, yeah, 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 it's incredible, isn't it? Yeah. And then obviously they had to heat heat it. Back then it was pre um, LEDs, so it was all the uh, fluorescent fittings and stuff mm. under there. Because mm. yeah, I built this tank about no, 19 years ago now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's been set up for a while, then, isn't it? Yeah. So uh, I'm using about a tenth of electricity mm. than I was before, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, yeah. a huge difference, isn't it? Yeah, you know? yeah. They've got some beautiful carp in here. These are huge. What do you reckon these are, like, weight-wise? you reckon that's, that's got to be 20-odd pounds plus, and it's surely... I think surely... Well, when I bought them, they were sort of like 14, 15 pounds. I've had them for about a year now, so I think it's 20 pounds, but yeah. Got to be, innit? Yeah. Yeah, they're big old fish. The perch just do a lot of sitting around. Yeah, but they've got some lovely colours on them, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah, very nice, mate. Absolutely amazing. There's actually uh, 18 tens, you know, you wouldn't believe it, but they tend to hang around the feeding bit at the front, you know, where they yeah. look in. Yeah, yeah. well, we're going to have a look in a minute if you want. Yeah. <laughs> I could just sit all day looking at this. Oh, yeah, I'm, yeah. There's nothing better than having a beer or a glass of wine or whatever. No, that's right, yeah. yeah. Well, I see you've got the bar behind. So you've got a nice taste there. Yeah, that's, that's a lovely like, fish. I've, only, I've got about 12 males, only about four or six females. I don't know why there's such a difference in sex ratio when I was catching them. Mm. Have you had any breeding going on in the tank at all? Yeah, the perch did. I think that's possibly why they're all sitting around a bit now, because uh, up until just recently, they've been spawning loads and loads, and they have these, like, it's like a big flat ribbon. It's like about, probably about three in inches wide. Yeah. Dead flat, like a ribbon, comes out and about about that long. Hmm. And it looks like bubble wrap, but the, but they're all quite well. The females are all quite fat, and then suddenly they did all this, and there's all this eggs and everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's so much. I wonder, wonder about it clogging things and stuff. And also the other fish tried eating, but didn't seem to like them. They did you spot it out. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You don't really want them to, do you? Yeah. Um, so uh, I don't know if the eggs have gone somewhere and they might have some tiny baby perch, but I can't imagine they'll run 
run the gauntlet of this lot. <laughs> no, they'll probably get picked. Well, we don't know. You never know. They could be hiding under for wood and stuff. You know, fish fish know what to do, don't they? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, you know? fish know they've got to keep got to keep their heads down. That's right. Yeah, but there's always friends of them breeding and stuff, so they've got. It's weird because the second all the eggs have come out, and everything, all the ones that are thought were fat, then got really hollow bellies and have been stuffing the muscles down now to try and like, build themselves up again. Yeah, yeah. Well, there are no saints going on, don't they? Yeah. Uh, the trout are lovely. I do love a trout. Oh, amazing mate, should we go up to the top yeah, where, you, sure, where yeah. you do your feeding and stuff? Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is the top of the uh, the tank basically, so there's the bay window and would you believe it, there's the tank there, look at this. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? And obviously this is where you do all your feeding then, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And getting in and crying because it's cold. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, bet it's, I bet it's cold in the winter, isn't it? Yeah, oh, but day like today, yeah, it might be alright. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's horrific when I get in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you must get used to it, though, surely, or do you not? Uh, you just learn to just put up with it more. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one thing you do learn is that you can't just gradually get in. You've just got to go splash and yeah. just get straight in. Yeah. Otherwise, you just delay in the agony. So what is the temperature in there? About 12 degrees, something like that, is in, it? In the winter it gets down to about 11, yeah. like that. but now it's at uh, 20. Right, yeah. So it's not too bad. Yeah, it's quite nice, no. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, when it was tropical, it used to be at 26, and that six degrees difference from 20 to 26. Big difference, is, yeah. I know, I know. Yeah, oh, no, yeah. No. yeah. <laughs> yeah it's a huge difference. That's absolutely amazing, mate. Honestly, it's incredible. Never seen anything like it. Okay. All the fish are sort of scared away a bit, aren't they? Yeah, it's the thing, you know, because they're all being wild and stuff, you know, being caught. Yeah. I think that when they're feeding them, they're pretty brave. Mm. Um, but they still seem to be gradually, they gradually get in there, mm. you know, to being used to. Me being there. When, when I first had them, if I, if I stood here, they would never, ever, ever come out. You no, know? no. For, for months, really, you know. Well, yeah, they're living, they're used to living in like murky places where you they don't never, see humans, really, you know. Yeah. That's right, yeah. It's alien to them, isn't it? Yeah. Are you due a feed? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I can, I, I can feed them. I feed them in the evening, so I don't know if they're in a rhythm. Right, yeah. And, yeah. and they might not feed, I don't know. but. Um, yeah, give it a go. Yeah, cool, if you can, yeah, just, well, only a little bit, you know, just to see what happens. It'd be, be lovely to see. Yeah, sure, yeah. So what you got, yeah, um, anti-lab stuff, yeah? Yeah, I was using something different, and I, I, this, I just keep trying different foods to see which ones yeah. might not make the water so unclear. You know? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah, I'll just put a scoop in. Let's see what happens. It might be a bit scared because I'm here. Also, you've got, um, I always feed them in the evening, and so it's never actually light when I feed them. Oh, there we go. There's tench. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, come on. Brave up. Come on, you. Wow, okay. yeah. Well, once one of them goes, they'll just start to go, shouldn't they? Yeah. I bet it's wicked seeing those, those big carp come up here, isn't it? Oh, yeah. 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 There you go, they're all sort of a little bit more active now. Yeah. It's when the. Uh, Trout start, no, so that's, they're just they're splash out. everything. Oh, in. yeah, I get yeah. pallets, I take pallets off the windowsill, I yeah. take them off the floor. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, when, when I go fly fishing with my dad and that to catch a trout, yeah. I go absolutely crazy. You think you've got like a 20 pound carp on them. Oh, right, yeah. It's only yeah. like a six pound trout, you know? Yeah. They put up such a fight. Yeah. Oh. Also, what's a bit annoying about the trout, and again, I'm not eating now because they, they're the most scared of them all, hmm. is that oh, even though they eat a lot, they dash at the surface, grab, turn, and that puts the worries up the other fish as well. Yeah, yeah. And so, before I put the trout in, things were a bit more laid back and they'd always come and eat the dinner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But now it's, it's, it's also the whole dynamic with bloody trout. Hmm. And it's not like the easiest tank to get in there and take fish out again, is it? You know. You no, go, no. I think with the go in there, I just have to use a rod and line, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's incredible, mate. They're probably just a bit scared because I'm here as well, you know. 
And like you say, you normally feed them in the evenings, isn't you? Yeah, so there's no other light, you see. There's yeah. no other light from the tank, yeah. Mm. The sort of thing I like to do, you know, is nice in the evening, got a few candles going, got yeah. a nice glass of wine. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely mate, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but you don't know where to sit, you've got so many rooms you can <laughs> you can go and like watch your fishing, you know? Yeah, yeah. Honestly guys, I thought I was crazy with fish, like this man's on another level. <laughs> <laughs> also, it's uh, rare, because this is dead north facing, it's mm. rare that you get um, the sun shining in. Because obviously this time of year, the sun rises almost over, no, over there. Yeah. So it does temporarily shine in at the north, then goes all the way around, and then temporarily shine, shines in at the north again when it sets. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. Like one, yeah. Yeah, so it's only sort of like June where that ever occurs. So I think that might be a bit of a surprise. The sun's shining, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a good one. Oh, well, we'll finish that off later. Probably when we go upstairs, mate, they're in that. Yeah, they're off in a lot, weren't they, you know? <laughs> right, that's not finished yet, guys. Honestly, he's got. More tanks as well, you can <laughs> see. The <laughs> worst conditions possible for trying to film a fish tank. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. A bright sunny day. Yeah, that's <laughs> right, that's it. We can kind of see anyway. So how tall is this one then? Because you built this one out of another tank, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. It's just a smidgen under four foot. I think it's 47 inches. Hmm. Uh, and it's just a smidgen over three and a half foot left to right, and it's 18 inches front to back. Yeah, it's a nice size, isn't it? What? It looks really nice in the evening. Mm. Yeah. It's silent, isn't it? Yeah. 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 There's Tiger Barbs. There's this is the one that used to have Ultimate Angels in it. And it's got a load of these little oil caps. You can probably see one just tucked under there. Yeah. Yeah, it's stunning fish, isn't it? It's got some lovely colours on there, isn't it? Yeah, there's about 20 of them in there. Hmm. You can hear the fish in there now. Yeah, you can, can't you? Yeah. yeah. Typical, isn't it? Yeah. I can see you've got some corridors and bits and bobs as well. Yeah, and there's a couple of uh, little L number plaques. Hmm. Yeah, lots of the fish are really old. Uh, like the couple of Tetras, there was quite a few of them, but now there's couple of the older ones left. It's, some of these fish are 15 years old. Really? Yeah, they're, they're, oh, they're wow. Corridorus and stuff. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah they, do, they do last for a while, don't they, the yeah. I've got a few a few years old now. Yeah. That's oh, lovely. And you just got some, just some bulbs running at the top then, yeah? Yeah, just household. Yeah, oh, I should have dusted that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just got a bent piece of metal, which I bent there and bent there. Yeah, shoved it over the end. You just run the cable through, yeah. Yeah, the cable just goes through the wall. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it works really well, doesn't it? I just like the sort of like simple elegance of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. Oh, it's epic, mate. You can hear them fish, can't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Should we go have a look? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, say in the evening about fifteen now. Yeah, yeah, look at that, isn't it? Oh, it's wicked, isn't it? So I'm just sneaking up to the tank because obviously the fish are feeding now. Yeah, I think it's simply just because it's not they just, uh, as they might change, you know. No, that's right, yeah. <laughs> too, well, too early for a minute, they're not hungry, yeah, are they? Yeah. Wow, man. <laughs> Yeah, I can imagine, yeah. Well, it seems to like that food as well, don't they? The NT Lab stuff. Yeah. Well, it seems like whatever I chuck in. It's just, uh, I'm just trying to find one which might aid with the water clarity. Hmm. Yeah. When you hear it like that, that's always a change. Yeah. When you hear that, that's always a yeah, yeah. And 
I'll take the tram back to the farm and get the money back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Better put them in the barbecue, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Well, should we go and check out your uh, other tanks? He's got more tanks as yeah. well. Raspberry <laughs> himself. Just there. Uh, oh, yeah, it's yeah. Nice, yeah. <laughs> Bit like a stingray, what they do, you know? Yeah. My rays do that in the morning. Yeah. So, how big will this guy get then, the flounder? The biggest one ever recorded was two foot. Mm. They average on 10 to 18 inches. Yeah, it's a nice yeah. size fish, isn't it? Yeah. I'm hoping, like I say, it's in, it's in complete fresh water, it's caught in fresh water. Uh, I'm just going to see if he'll take it. At the moment he's on live food and he, he does really stuff it down. Mm. Uh, but I keep starving him for a bit, see if he'll take yeah. something more convenient. He doesn't, he really turns his nose up at it. Mm. But I'm hoping he does and then, if he does then, if he never does then I think right I'm not getting any more, no. I'll just keep this one. Yeah. Uh, might even return it <laughs> back to the river. Yeah, yeah. Um, if he does, yeah, if he does move on to more convenient food, then I'll catch some more. Mm. And then get them onto more convenient food, then put them into the tank with the fridge as the stream tank. Yeah. If they get to a decent size and they're still okay in fresh water, I'll put them in the main tank. Yeah, they look wicked, right? Yeah, they look, yeah, yeah, look incredible. Really different. Mm. Yeah. Nah, wicked, mate. It's just basically just a little kitchen tank, isn't it? What's it running? Just a little sponge filter or something? Yeah, it? yeah, just a little tiny sponge filter, yeah. yeah, with a two watt pump on it. <laughs> yeah, that's all he needs to need. You know, he's not yeah. quite a lot of waste yet, is he? So, nah. perfect. Oh, there's a little tiny one. Do you see him just there? Is that there we go? Can you see him moving? Yeah, yeah. He's really tiny. Oh, yeah, I like didn't his know he had no one there. Yeah. Thumbnail size here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the big one's about three or four inches long, but he's yeah. really titchy. Yeah, I remember seeing him this morning when we first come here. Lovely mate, lovely. Well I can if you like, it, uh, does, and just disturb him out. Yeah, go on in, yeah, yeah, if you, yeah, as long yeah. as you don't mind, yeah, it'd be nice no, to see him on camera, wouldn't it? Yeah, just so you can see him. Yeah, yeah. definitely. It's unbelievable that he's hiding, he's always out and about. Yeah, yeah, early, yeah, yeah. It's typical, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I bet you built that tank yourself as well, didn't you? This, this, one? this one, no. Actually, this one was uh, given to me. Oh, right. Yeah. Come on, you. I don't know which way around he is. No, that's right. <laughs> oh, there he look goes. At him, look at him. Oh, he's wicked, isn't he? Look at him. Let's shake the sand off. Come on. Okay. I'll just get him to shake the sand off a bit. So yeah. See the, there yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, any live food, he absolutely loves it, no matter what it is. Yeah, yeah. But give him exactly the same food, dead. You just. I bet they're quite rare to find in rivers, aren't they? You have to go to where you, you can either catch them, and I want to catch them in actual pure fresh water, mm. so I haven't got to try acclimatising and everything. Plus, the fish has made its own decision to be in fresh water. Yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah. It's halfway there, then, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, yeah. So, uh, you just go to where river, anywhere in England, where river meets the sea. Mm. Um, and then just as long as you've got a nice bit of gentle flow in like a, either a muddy bottom or a sandy bottom, mm. where it becomes brackish water then fresh, that's where this is like knock around. Right, yeah. 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 Oh, he's a lovely looking fish, isn't he? He's got some beautiful colours on him. Yeah. It does, it does remind me of You see how he like changes colours? Like, he just, it's incredible how he can change colours just so quickly. Yeah. But he's been in fresh water now for a few weeks. Um, and do you have heard of Jack Perks? Jack yeah, Perks, he does ring a bell in there. Yeah, he's the one who's filmed every, he's the first person to have filmed every species of um, freshwater fish hmm. in Britain in their natural habitat. Right. Yeah. Um, he, he's got one in his pond and he's had it since September hmm. in just pure freshwater. Oh, along, good. Along with his goldfish and what have you. Yeah. So I'm assuming they'll be alright for a long, long time in freshwater. Yeah. Yeah, any time will tell, won't it? I reckon you'll be fine. Yeah. Well, something would have happened by now, surely, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Jack's had his for, well, it'll be nearly, nearly a year. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. The only thing he did notice, that his growth's been slow. So whether being in fresh water slows the growth or whatever, I don't know. 
Or maybe they grow slowly anyway. No, they probably, they probably grow slow. They get to a certain point and they explode. It's not normal yeah. to a lot of fish, do they? He also says he doesn't even know what it's eating in his pond. You know, so mm. if he hasn't got much in the way of live food and stuff. And, yeah. And, it, and if it's been as difficult as this one, eating live food, mm. uh, then maybe that's why it's growing slowly. That's right, yeah. yeah. And you don't know how much food he's getting. It's better, like, it's good for you here because you know what he's having. Oh, yeah. And the thing is, I can chuck two bags of Daphnia in. Mm. And he just stuffs the lot down into his, oh god, you know, it's really posh. Yeah, yeah, well, it's, so, it's a good sign, isn't it? Yeah, so whereas his, if his isn't getting all that, you know what I mean? What I mean is, though, is that his could have swam around, mm. eaten all the live food, yeah. and then be, oh, now what, and I've got to wait for some more. Yeah, right, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Need it every day, mate, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, nice, mate. Lovely. It's awesome. just different. Yeah, it's not yeah. something you see every day. Well, I've yeah. never seen one in the tank before, if I'm honest with you, so. No, it's cool, mate. He's gone, he's gone dark because he was up there and then his colours will fade tomorrow. Match yeah. the yeah. Match the sun. Yeah, it's seeing lighting up already, look. Yeah. Lovely. He's a right little character there, yeah. Yeah, I think. Yeah, because I say, he can't be particularly scared of being under the sand because he hasn't gone back under it. Mm. Yeah, so he's normally... Well, he's used to here in the, in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, 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 yeah. you spend a lot of time in the kitchens, don't we? So. Yeah, yeah. He's asking for some food. Yeah, yeah he's not having any. You can have some food when you eat dead stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Where are we going now? Up, upstairs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you can see this little telly tank. If you like. Oh yeah, yeah. Might be able to get in here. So this is a old telly. And when was this from? This telly then. 1949. Far as I'm aware, I think the stock made came in 1952. Right. I also when when this television was brand new. It was the equivalent of buying a small terraced house. In, really? Yeah, for, yeah. That's how much they were back then. Yeah. 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 Only a handful of people had them then. Yeah. I could yeah. imagine, yeah. Yeah. No, it's not something you see every day, is it? A fish tank inside an old telly. Yeah, make it as well. Because I really thought that once I just cut the screen off with the angle grinder, because it's an old cathode ray tube mm. type, you know. So once I've cut the screen off, that'll be it. You know, but to put the screen into a glass box and. Mm. But no, the screen was textured on the back, so everything looked blurry. So yeah, I had to, it's typical, isn't it? Yeah, so I had to melt a piece of acrylic over the screen in the oven. Yeah. And then, Nothing's there ever as easy yeah. as you think it's going to be, is it, you know? And there's just the light just sits neatly in this bottle at oh, the bottom yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good idea, isn't it? where I feed them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. Ah, it's really cool, man. Right, I'll follow you upstairs in Jack. Let's yeah. go and have a look. So this is where you keep all your old school tanks, isn't it? Yeah, this is a, this is a vintage collection. Look at these, man. So how old are these then? Well, this one from like early 60s. Yeah. Uh, this was the first bow front tank available at the time hmm. and was and cost a fortune back in the day. Yeah, I can imagine, yeah. Uh, this one is just post-war. And I like this one because even though this one's more recent, over the years it started to rust and stuff whereas this one was coated in something enamel yeah see that so yeah it's, so it's like lasts forever you know well it kind of looks like a tall edge doesn't it right yeah yeah it. that was it's like an enamel -y stuff i don't mm. know what's up but it's obviously a metal frame with something on it yeah which done the, it's done its job isn't it yeah and i've gone for everything a bit a bit old school i've even gone for the really nasty gravel um on the gravel filter powered by one of these chuffer chuffer pumps. So the chuffer chuffer pump, high flow they're really called, sorry not. Mm. I always call them chuffer chuffer because that's the noise they make. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that powers both that filter and this filter. Yeah. That's oh, incredible you've got these tanks like still running and set up, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really, really just, nice to see. That's fine on uh, eBay because if you, they do get, they do fetch a lot now. I think there's quite a few people doing this vintage thing. Mm. And I've seen ones like this on eBay for like, Hundreds of, you know, yeah, just yeah. just for the tank. Yeah, yeah, crazy. And you got. So the, I was looking to get these. Well. Well. Yeah, so I mean, it's obviously a replica, but it's yeah, a, but it, yeah, it looks it's a bankers. Line. It looks yeah. right, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, yeah. What are you stocking in there, then? Like, I see you've got some tetras and stuff in there. There's the what do you call them? Um, pencil fish. Yeah. There's those headstanders, strawberry, whatever they're called, and then there's the Blue Axe or Red Eye, Rosborers. Rosborers, yeah, I thought yeah. there was Tetris standing back there. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely, isn't they? These are beautiful, these guys. Oh, yeah. Strawberries. 
I think they'll struggle as standard. They'll get a little bit big for that, so they'll go into the link tank in, yeah. a, in a few weeks. They've grown quite quickly already, actually. And here, there's those blue belly, or whatever they're called, lemmiers. Never been into live bearers, but I saw the endless guppies, which are very much like how guppies were originally in the wild. Mm. And uh, and these are wild, the lemmiers. I thought, yeah, they're quite nice. I thought, don't, don't just cast life bearers aside, you know, give no, them a no, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've always got a life bearer tank set up somewhere, you know. Have you, right? Yeah, right. Always, always do, you know, just a little one on the kitchen side or whatever. Yeah. They're just so easy to keep, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. and you do you always get some fish from them, so. Yeah. Although I went in here because they're all males. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's good because tomorrow morning you'd wake up, mate, there'd be hundreds of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, awesome, mate. Right, let's well, get on to the link tank then, yeah? Yeah, and I've got an even older um, vintage tank. This one's 100 years old. Yeah, it's just lovely tank this, isn't it? I had to, because um, it was so rusty, I had to actually, and the putty had all cracked, I had to actually take all the glass out. Mm. And all the, oh, it was a right old state, because it was so old. Yeah, I can um, imagine. And then I had to re-putty the glass back in and stuff. Mm. But I cheated as well, because the glass was over 100 years, it become so scratched. Yeah, you need to get new glass. Yeah, yeah, so yeah that's right, yeah. In, yeah. So no, basically, it's the thing. frame that's 100 years old. Yeah. Oh, and the bottom piece of glass. I didn't need to renew that. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> no, there's something about it, innit? It just looks, it looks different, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just a nice twinkly little tank. Mm. Yeah. And i got, um, what is it all? I don't know why it all, External filters are like aren't like it. You know the little ones with the little heaters which stick in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In that down there, yeah. Um, I know. I've always said that. Like, why don't they just make them with all the heaters in them? Yeah, you know? have yeah. it all in one. You've got nothing in the tank. There, exactly. Yeah, you know, just got yeah. a filter head or whatever. And you can put your airstone in, but yeah, yeah. A lot of companies do do it, but um, and I've plumbed it. I, all the ones of uh, external filters, like the. The tank in the lounge, the tall one. Yeah. I plumb them all in at the bottom, yeah. so that you don't get any ugly pipes and stuff. No, definitely, yeah. Well, it basically looks like a sump, really, doesn't it? You know. Yeah. And again, I went for a. It's a replica, but it's a vintage type. Yeah, but it works so right. well, doesn't it? The green just looks so good, doesn't it? Yeah. Lovely. Lovely. Right, let's get onto this thing then. <laughs> this is something special as well, isn't it? <laughs> so this is your bedroom, is it, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's amazing, isn't it? I've, ne I've never ever seen anything like it. <laughs> so what size are the tanks then, these two here? They're both identical sizes. They're yeah. five foot by just a smidge under three foot by two foot front to back. Mm. And the tunnel is nine inches in diameter. Yeah. And that's five foot as well, so the whole thing's 15 foot. Yeah, it's an incredible system, isn't it? Because it is one big system, really, isn't it? Yeah, you know, yeah. The water joins, doesn't it? So it's a yeah. system, isn't it? And what stocking you got in there? I saw you had some Jack Dempsey's. Is that reed fish there, is it? Yeah, there's eight reed fish. Yeah. Uh, there's 30 uh, brown knife fish. There's eight of uh, the Tigrinus knife, you know, Jim Notus Tigrinus knife fish. Yeah. Uh, there's those spotted dollars which are hiding and they, you know, I say all, all the others come out and look great. Well, the spotted dollars just hide all the time because they're just right nervy type thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You've got five mouths in there as well, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, you've got some lovely Jack Dempsey. That one's stunning there. Yeah, there's, I think there's six Jack Dempsey's. Mm. I've never known such a tank of nervy fish. It's, it's really, really weird. Yeah. Yeah. There's some fine ass there. You can see some of the knife fish dotting around. Is that a yo yo loach you got at the back there? Oh, there's some clown loach. Clown loach? Yeah. That, what's this one in the wood? It's not. What's this one at the back? Is it a yo yo loach? You see it? 
Just poking his head out. That's oh, no, it's a spiny eel. Spiny eel, right. Yeah, 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 I was yeah, thinking, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a clown. Yeah, you can see one in the wood. Yeah. And what are these running on then, Jack? Are they um, externals, aren't they, again? Yeah, yeah, so the plum then, you can just see if you look there. Yeah, see it, yeah. And then the. What it, I did was. Because that looked like a chest of drawers from there, didn't it? You know, uh, yeah, that was the cunning, lifted that off, yeah. the cunning plan. Yeah. The. Um, most of the externals are these Eheim bucket filters, and I changed the old Eheim pump hmm. for a much more efficient pump. Um, in fact, actually, ten times as efficient. It's incredible. These the Eheim pumps just really use the electric. Hmm. Uh, then I put these John Guest push fit fittings in, which is used for plumbing, and the the heaters are exactly the same diameter as the pipes, so that when I need to change a heater, I can just push that white collar black. Pull it out. Pull it out. Put another one Shove in. Shove another yeah. one in, yeah. Lovely, yeah. yeah. Nice and, it, and easy. It keeps them all out of the tank. Mm. This one I had to put the um because I still need her to draw, you know, for my pants and socks. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so on this one I mounted the pump. So this one works backwards. So the pump's actually up on the side of it, yeah. at, at the back, and the water comes in at the top. Whereas that one over there, the pump sat on top and right. the water comes in, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But then it's still got the two heaters and yeah, these are the last fish to get fed at night. Yeah. I'm going to clean my teeth. Yeah. Well, it's like a, a routine for you, I can imagine, isn't it, you know? Yeah, all the other fish get fed whenever, but then they, the big, big tank, they get fed in the evening, and then when it comes to bedtime, I feed these, and it's, this is probably because it's, the knife fish just, oh, it's great, you know, they, there's way they stuff the food down and everything, it's, yeah. I love it, yeah, it, yeah. Is, it is my favourite. It's probably my favourite tank. Yeah, it's amazing. I've never seen anything like it. <coughs> you can't believe it's, it's really, really heavily stocked as well. You, you wouldn't believe the, it, the would you? The water's crystal clear, mate. Absolutely yeah. crystal clear. Look down there, look. I say it's 30 of those knife fish. Mm. I can see a the, couple, yeah. Yeah, there's eight of the, you know, the, the stripy Tigrinus gymnotus ones? Yeah. There's eight of them, there's like ten big cichlids, there's all those silver dollars, there's eight of the reed fish. This is loads of fish, you won't mm. believe it looking at it, but there's nearly <laughs> loads. It's just so much wood to hide, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's, that's it's the good thing. for them, really, though, isn't it? They, yeah, they, they, they need they, it all, don't they? They feel more comfortable, yeah. But this evening, when the food goes in, it's just carnage, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I can imagine. Yeah. I like also when it is evening, I sometimes walk up and down. With the food, and I don't know which. And yeah, I'm do, put do it they in. come through the pipe then? Yes, yeah, yeah. oh, which one's it going in? Oh, it's going back oh, again. Oh, but it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, you it's need to get this on film, man. Yeah. <laughs> incredible, mate. Absolutely incredible. Oh, and a couple of Pimelodas picked us. Yeah, I kept them years ago. They're the worst fish to catch in the net, aren't they? Oh, you yeah, know? and a snag on everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You end up having to cut bits of your net away. That's right, yeah. yeah. I've got a couple of nets at home with holes in it because of these fish, you know? Yeah. I saw them, my fish now, look all. Yeah, they've got those little gulps in there. Yeah, yeah. You see them all? Yeah, yeah I see them coming to the top, yeah. I'm trying to stand back here and get some footage of them. Something about the way they move as well, isn't oh, it? Oh, they're just great. I just love live fish. Awesome. So everyone, just got back from um Jack's incredible uh, aquariums. I'm still a little bit in shock, like how big they actually were. Like absolute mental. Like, what do you guys think of all them aquariums in his house? It's just mind blowing, you know. You, you can't um, really um, appreciate it until you actually go and see it. Also, on the way home, um, I picked up a bircher from uh, Jake. Thanks so much, Jake, for giving me this bircher. He was in Nottingham, right by uh, well, about 20 minutes away from. Um, Jack's house, so it worked out really well today. It was a two and a half hour drive on the way home today as well, so I've done a hell of a lot of driving today. I've done near enough five hours of driving, so I'm pretty tired. 
and I'm going out tonight and it's like 33 degrees right now. It's like a really hot day. But anyway, um, I'm going to end the video there. Thanks for watching as always. Um, and if you've got a, ch um, a tank or tanks you want me to come and um, have a look at and video for the channel, drop me a message on um, YouTube or Instagram or send me an email as well. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe to my channel. Ding that notification bell and uh, keep it right on.